hello everyone hope you all are doing well today i will show you the nitrogen generation process the nitrogen generation unit consists of air compressor unit air dryer unit and psa that means pressure swing absorption unit the pressure swing absorption unit consists of control valves carbon molecular sieve etc using compressed air pressure swing absorption that means psa generators produce an interrupted supply of nitrogen gas these generators use pitted compressed air that is filtered through a carbon molecular sieve which is called cms here for the air required there are some instrument air compressor and also a air reservoir the air is reserved or storage in this unit using compressed air pressure swing absorption generators produce an interrupted supply of nitrogen gas these generators use pretreated compressed air that is filtered through a carbon molecular sieve oxygen and trace gases get absorbed through the cms letting nitrogen to pass through this filtration takes place in two towers both of which contain a cms carbon molecular sieve is like granular type when the online tower vents the contaminants it is known as the regenerative mode in this process oxygen having smaller molecules gets separated from the nitrogen and the lining in the sieve absorbs these smaller oxygen molecules as nitrogen molecules are larger in size they are unable to pass through the cms and the result will be the desired pure nitrogen gas for nitrogen gas here is also a an analyzer unit pressure swing absorption is a process that uses high pressure to attract gases to solid surfaces as pressure increases gas is absorbed and when it decreases the absorbed gas is released psa can separate gases based on their attraction to different solid surfaces for example if air is passed through an absorbent bed of carbon molecular sieve under pressure oxygen will be attracted more strongly than nitrogen so nitrogen will stay in the bed and nitrogen will come out the bed can be regenerated by reducing pressure and releasing the absorbed oxygen for another cycle of producing high purity nitrogen generally uses two absorption towers here psa1 and psa2 also there are sub control valves the towers are filled with carbon molecular sieve when one absorption tower is absorbing oxygen and producing nitrogen on the other hand the other absorption tower is deoxygenating and regenerating this alternating cycle continues to produce nitrogen nitrogen gas is released here to the process line there are 10 numbers on of valves used the control system is plc based in the plc system there is power supply in it and also another control equipments also we can observe the process by hmi unit human machine interface for moisture free air here our dryer unit is used also for nitrogen purity observation nitrogen analyzer unit is used this is online system for oxygen exhaust here is a silencer unit here used and this process is continuous process this nitrogen is used as sealing gas from the ASMI unit we can see the different data and process parameters with the help of solenoid valve 
that means the uh, on of valves are operated by the solenoid valve when the solenoid valve gets signal from plc then the valves operated that means it changes its position on to off or off to on here is described the sequence there is three sequence first time the valves open and gas entered and this gas is converted to nitrogen and goes to buffer tank again for a single little time two valves that means two and two four valves remain open and then the sequence changes again the pressure swing absorption unit changes and this is a continuous process here we described practically the system from the HMI unit we can observe when the valve will open or close by the solenoid valve the valves that means on of valves will open and close and from the pressure gauge we can see the pressure at the pressure swing absorption unit also depending on time sequence the pressure swing absorption unit changes and the process remain continuous state i think depending on this process when any problem you will face then considering this process sequence you can easily maintain the system and you can run the process smoothly thanking you for watching this video